Hello and welcome to this Blender topic on the node textures. We're just continuing on the topic on node materials. Uh, the same, I'm using the same file as we had when we quit that one and I leave an, uh, a link so you can get to that if you're not familiar. And uh, I'll select this yellow cup, that's the one that will receive the textures and I'll just go into the, I have the yellow material here and I click the uh, texture tab and I add another material called that stripes another texture I mean and then another one that I call hammer surface just to know what I intend to do with those so we start out with the stripes I select that one here and of course here you can always see what you know what your materials your texture and the materials what its end result is and then we'll go to the composting um, layout and I'll choose textures here. So now since I had the stripes selected, that's what's going to show up. And I press use nodes on it. And then I, if I then render that by pressing F12, then you can see that this is the pattern that uh, comes automatically. Um, and uh, I would like to delete that pattern. So now we have kind of, let's go back here and see, we have, I haven't specified anything here. Uh, and there, there's really no, um, there's no actual, uh, you know, texture at this point. So I'll add this, the wood texture. And in this case, I'll use the color output of that. Uh, and as you can see, it takes a while for before things actually, you know, happened in the uh, render pipeline. Let's try to do that. You know, render it again. And uh, I'm not exactly sure why things don't, you know, take immediately. But we'll just give this output a name color, so I know that yeah, that's what I have have in mind now. It actually cycled through. Uh, and I'll just choose color as my output node here for this. Um, uh, and the, the effect of this black and white texture on, on this, uh, it takes, you know, this, this blend color here, but if I do change it, I can also change, since I would like it to be more on the, like the yellow here, uh, I can take a look at that material and see what um, what the diffuse color is. It's it's about this. Kind of just memorize those num you know slightly memorize those numbers, so I can go in here and say that you know my my basic is going to be like that and like uh, this something like that and and there. So now I have my kind of orangey looking material and then I would like to just have a like a dark blue there and if we look at the texture here in the preview uh, there you go see it takes a while before it actually can try to render it just be patient it will appear so that's kind of one of the one of the things with uh, I think I'll change this to a white we'll just leave that right for now like that and I go to the hammer surface uh, and I have the texture tab here turned on and I'll use nodes and you get the you know get that thing again I'll delete that checker pattern and in this case I call this output node for normal and I'll add a texture of Veroni and I'll pull the normal over to here. So this I want to change the bump map surface. 
and I add um, another text, uh, no, an, an output called viewer and just take the color over to there. So now I can see what, what, you know, what I'm dealing with in terms of my, my basic texture. And I can turn off the color there. I really don't need that. See now, this actually took, you know, this actually took after some, so you can just kind of leave it and trust in that it will, will happen. Uh, and I'll turn on the normal. I can crank it up a little bit and um, can turn off the color so we can just uh, I'll just go try to render that and see no nothing happened uh, and of course if I specify that will probably help there you go and uh, take that up further and uh, then we render that and you can see it looks like somebody's worked this over with a hammer um, I turn on the stripes then you get that and you can maybe would like to lower the influence of the color so it's not as dramatic. And we can move these, you know, up or down the stack and that changes a little bit how you know how the influence works. Let's look at the stripes. I'm going to increase the color there. And um, if you want to change the direction on how these stripes are going, and I can change the, the coordinates here. And if you change the size here, for instance, you can instantly see how that's changing the, you know, the width of the stripes and so forth. And if you do can do this then you turn these along their axis so when it comes to the you, you have to for each influence you kind of have to have your own output no node here and uh, I've, in this case I've used uh, you know two different textures for the same material and I'm using one to affect the normal and one to have an effect on the color So if we turn off the color effect, then you get only the normal. And uh, in this case, if you would like to, you can uh, you can also change uh, no, that's not it. I want to be in the hammer surface here, and you can change also the granularity of it. And the, try to render that and you can see how that changes things so those are the basics of this you you use um, for you know for a nor something a texture you want to affect the normal you probably want to have a viewer also and an output and you say you know that you want the output node to be that one and for color you use you route the color to the output node and uh, say that that's the, the chosen output so that's it for this particular topic, and I hope this has been useful for you. And if you viewed it all up to this, please like it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, try that too. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.